Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to all my brothers and sisters all around the Muslim world. I love all of you for the sake of Allah. Alhamdulillah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Begin by praising Allah and asking Allah to send peace and blessings upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is a reminder from the DMV Islam page first to ourselves. May Allah help us to be upon our own advice before we try to give it to people. I seek refuge in Allah from telling people to do things that I wouldn't do and that I don't do. We seek refuge in Allah from being hypocrites. I mean. And this is just a, another reminder, inshallah, ta'ala, you can benefit. And this reminder is going to be about telling the truth. How important is it to tell the truth? You know? How important is it? What value does that have? Not only what value does it have, but what does it get you? Because we want to benefit. A reason why people may be turned away from religion is because they don't see they don't see the benefit of it when they look at religion they may see it as just obeying a bunch of rules and you know getting up early and they don't understand but the truth is that the religion is for you to benefit it's only for you to benefit from it Allah does not need people to follow a religion he doesn't need anyone to believe in him he existed before anyone was here and no one was here to believe in him and he will exist after nothing is is, is, is is alive. He will still exist. So Allah doesn't need people to believe in him. The religion is purely for your benefit. Islam is purely for your benefit. So back to the truth. How how you know how what value does the truth have and how do you benefit from it? Some of us may want to be good Muslims. You know, you have brothers and sisters, regardless of what we do or fall into, we ask Allah to save us, I mean, and to honor us, I mean. But, you know, you may have brothers and sisters who may not be doing the things that they should do, the, the correct things, the right things, but they want to be good Muslims. They really want to be good Muslims. You know, they want to be good Muslims. And... But how do you do that? How do you become a good Muslim? What step do you take? And that's what this video, inshallah, will reveal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glorious and exalted is He, says in the Quran, chapter 33, Allah says, Fear Him. Fear Him and tell the truth. Fear Allah and tell the truth. Fearing Allah, you know, means... That you fear the punishment of Allah. You know what Allah can do to you. We know what Allah is capable of. Nothing, no, dis no disaster, tsunami strikes. Except that it was by the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No disaster strikes except that it is from the decree of Allah. And Allah is all merciful and all wise to what he does. But Allah, fearing Allah, you know, you know what Allah can do. So fear him. And fearing Allah also means to respect him. So Allah says, fear him, fear Allah, and tell the truth. And then in the next verse, what does Allah say that he will do? For the one who fears him and tells the truth, Allah says that he will forgive that person and he will correct their deed. He will, he will amend their deeds, meaning Allah will give you deeds that are good. He will, he will correct your deeds because in order to be a good Muslim, you need to do good deeds and people who aren't good Muslims are people who do bad deeds. So Allah says that he will amend your deeds. He will correct your deeds. He will correct your deeds. A person is, if you see people who are good Muslims, you know, they, they go to pray, they do all this, and you're looking, at, you're looking at them, you're like, wow, this is a good Muslim. Understand this. A person is not a good Muslim by themselves. A person isn't a good Muslim because they're very smart and clever. They're good Muslims because Allah put guidance in their heart. He guided them. There's a saying in Islam, in our, in our deen, our way of life, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. This means that there is no strength to do good and to refrain from evil except with Allah. So if a person is a good Muslim, it is Allah's honor to this servant. He gave them this ability from himself. This is a blessing and a mercy from Allah. Not because this person is very smart. And now we have to make the choice to choose Allah and to choose his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him and choose the right path the choice you do possess that but the ability is from Allah only and Allah gives us this 
as an honor. He gives it to us because everything is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah says in this verse that he, he, will, he will correct your deeds. He will forgive you and he will correct your deeds. So a person who wants to be a good Muslim, this is a step to take. Start telling the truth. Tell the truth. And to tell the truth, you have to accept the truth. The problem we have in, in this world today is that we don't accept the truth. And even Muslims have this problem. A brother will be doing something wrong. A sister will be doing something wrong. And you tell them the truth. They want to argue with you. They want to fight with you. You know, you want to share some information uh, of Islam or, or this or that. They want to argue. They want to fight. A true Muslim does not argue with people. He does not or she does not bicker and fight. A true Muslim, when it is the truth, they accept it because it's from Allah. It's from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They accept it. They don't argue and go back and forth. So when a person is arguing and going back and forth with you, they're clearly showing you that they are not close to Allah. Even if their beard touches the floor and their thobe is longer than a telephone pole and their hijab is, 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 is the best hijab in the world, whatever the case may be. If a person does not accept the truth and they're bickering and arguing with you, these are not people who are close to Allah. No matter how much of the Muslim look they have, they're not close to Allah. Because a person who's close to Allah does not argue when the truth is brought to them. They accept the truth. These are the people who are close to Allah. So a person who argues with you, they are not close to Allah. They are clearly telling on themselves. I am not. Even if they're cursing and saying whatever out their mouth, arguing back with you, translate that to this. I am not close to Allah. That's what they're saying. So we need to accept the truth. We need to tell the truth, but accept the truth. Accept the truth and tell the truth, and Allah will correct your deeds. I love all of you for the sake of Allah. If you need anything, you inbox me on YouTube. You inbox me on the Facebook. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.